Salute what's real, man. F what's not. Big business is all we got. Triple B's or nothing. It's Tiger the Ace, and I'm rocking with Metro Proponent, the largest newspaper in the internet and on the streets. What, what, what it do, world? It's me again. I'm lyrics, fuck the flyers in that Denny M. That's a rose. Designer clothes. Everybody knows. What's up, world? We're here with Tiger the Ace. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I want to ask, first of all, where did the name Tiger the Ace come from? Um. Well, you know, the name Tiger came, it was, it was my grandmother named me Tiger. I used to um, be infatuated with Tigers when I was young. But as far as the Ace, I used to go by the name Tiger the Great. Um, I had a record probably in 06 called Ace of the City. So once I released that record, I was opened up for a lot of acts that was coming through West Virginia. And um, once I used to do the record Ace of the City, when I used to be in the street, they used to call me Ace. So I just put them both together as Tiger the Ace. Have you worked with any artists, uh, mainstream artists in the industry? Um, yeah, actually, um, this goes back a little bit, but yeah, I worked with um, Malice from the Clips. We had a record called I Can't Out. Um, it did pretty well. Then also I had a record with Chameleon as well. This is a um, rapper named Big Smooth out in Texas. We had a song called Grain Gripper and the regional remix of that record. That was a big play down in Houston. It had um, actually had um, Chameleon there on it. it had, Killer Coleon on it, it had um, Maino on it. There's a lot of different artists from all over different regions, so that, that, that did pretty well. So. Are you from Charlotte? No, I'm actually from West Virginia, but I've been in Charlotte probably for the last six years. Okay. Yeah. What is something that you've done with your music that you're proud of most? Um, basically, you know, I, I would say what I did most, it would be a that was probably two questions. It, one, I went on the tour um, with the N1 basketball team. It's called the Hustle Up Streetball Tour. That's nice. Did a 30 city tour with them all across the country. You know, that was really That's big. big. That was really big for me. Um, also, um, like right now, just the moves that we're making with the single party as far as, you know, getting it out there, you know, you know on iTunes and Rhapsody and, you know, just on them online markets, just, you know, trying to be most, you know, more professional all the way around the board with our music. That's what it comes to because that's how these labels and stuff are going to respect us until we get that business straight all the way around the board, you know. Are there any artists you have plans to work with here in the near future? Um, yeah, definitely, 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 as far as you're talking about in the city or... Yeah, how about any, are you teaming up with any local talent here? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, me and Royalty actually got a record off of um, the mixtape melodies on the lyrics called Top of the World is Crazy. Um, also, got records with um, King Carter, that's my dude too. Um, you know, Sean Marvell is an R&B singer. We got a lot of different records together as well. So, yes. Yeah, I'm grinding, you know, everybody in the city is doing their thing. I salute them, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of talent. What's the difference between Virginia and Charlotte? Um, West Virginia. West Virginia, excuse me. It's a little West. different. <laughs> <West>. <laughs> but um, it, it's just a, a larger market. You know, I feel like I, I did everything possible in my city where I come from. That's Bluefield, West Virginia, you know. So it was time for me to expand. So I wanted to move to a bigger, bigger area and, and try to, you know, do my thing. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about the Big Business Boys? Yeah, um, Big Business Boys, that's the team, that's the movement, you know, that's what we represent. Um, How did you guys come together? Actually, I had a company um, it's called Heavy Money INC, and uh, when I was coming back and forth to Charlotte from West Virginia, me and my partner on my bubble, you know, we always kept in contact throughout the whole situation. When he told me when I touch the city, it's on, we're going to mob out. So basically, you know, simple as that. We linked up together shortly after that, and I've uh, been rocking ever since. It's like six, seven years strong. Can you describe your music in three words? In three words? I would say, uh, three words, I would say melodic, catchy, soulful. Are you currently working on any projects with Figs here in the studio? Right. Oh, yeah, we, you know, we're constantly working. Like, currently, right now, we got the, um, the new mixtape in the streets. It's called Melodies on the Lear. We also, like I said, got the new single in the streets as well called Party. It's on radio right now, so we're just moving with that right now as, as we speak. Tell me a little bit about uh, where you grew up and how you, a little bit about your upbringing. Yeah, um, 
you know, Tiger Ace is from the dirt road, you know, come from a small place, MacDowell County, you know, it's a real small, small area, you know. Um, but I came up in humble beginnings, you know, right out of the projects, Tiffany Mountain projects, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, it was hard. I came up like any other person in the hood, you know, had a family that loved me though, so, you know, came out all right. <laughs> Yeah, you got big things ahead of you. See that. Appreciate that. Where can uh, fans download some of your music? You said iTunes, Rhapsody, any other places? Yeah, of course. They can go to um, youtube.com backslash Big Business Boys 13. They also can go to um, youtube.com TIG 3R The Ace. And they can check out the whole mixtape on there. They can check out my new videos on there. You know what I'm saying? You can also go to Twitter.com, Tiger the Ace, Facebook, Tiger the Ace. Or you can just basically, like I said, just go to YouTube, period, and just put Tiger the Ace in. You know, a lot of different things that come up. Do you target your music towards the ladies or towards the fellas? Uh, when you when you listen to Tiger the Ace music, you I want people to know that I'm an artist. I do, you know, music for everybody. I don't make just one genre of music, you know. So yeah, a little bit of both. Okay. Yeah. Who are some other producers you've worked with? Um, aside from Figure, he primarily been doing the bulk of my my production since I've been in the city. But also Marcus Dietrich, he's from Morgantown, West Virginia. Um, he's done a lot of different beats for a lot of guys in the industry too. So, do you ever see the city of Charlotte coming together as a music industry? Even though you're not from here, but you have been here long enough. Right. You know I, who's doing right, what? Right. I mean, I would hope so. Like I, I've been around for a while, so I know like you know most of the key players around the city, and it, it's just about us all coming together. I feel like the talent is here. It's like a, about a, the people, the group of people that's on that elite level need to come together and let's try to go ahead and move forward, you know what I'm saying? And, and stop trying to knock each other down, you know, what for we all trying to reach the same goal, you know? Let's just be humble and move forward to what we're trying to get. And that's the, this for Charlotte, for West Virginia, as a, you know, everybody to be, you know, on that, on that plateau. Tell me about the love you received in other cities. I heard that you were playing and you were on the radio on VA or West VA. Yeah, sure. West, yeah, yeah, West Virginia, West Virginia, yeah. <laughs> Salute that 98.7 beat, what's up? Um, yeah, um, yeah, the love is always great wherever um, I've been. I've been blessed with that, you know. Like in Charlotte alone, you know, everybody, you know, I want to salute everybody for standing behind me at the radio station, you know, showing me love and uh, showing the camp love, big business. And as far as West Virginia goes, you know, that's the home, so you know, you can't you can't get them behind you, then you know, you ain't doing something right. Again, touching back on the tour we went to, a little story like we was in New Mexico, it, it was mind blowing, you know, as far as how hip hop it was like in um, Alamogordo, I think it was, it was um, just their response, you know, once you finish performing and the love and excitement that they have, you know, looking at all the little kids, it's just like mind blowing that you somewhere so far out and you think that, well, you know, they might not receive your music well because you're in other parts of the world, you know, but, you know, everything, you know, always have been received well, so I salute that. You know, everybody who ever supported me and is down with me to this day, yeah. Tell me more about your mixtape coming up, like, what's the concept of it? Okay, yeah, Melodies on the Lyrics is a conceptual mixtape, and what it is, is like you musically taking a flight with me, you know what I'm saying? So when I say Melodies on the Lyrics, you just basically, like I said, it's the new word, Lyric interpret that for being fly so it's like basically taking a musical journey so throughout the mixtape you hear different airplane sounds and different things going on it's basically going through my day-to-day -day life you know when you're taking that flight you know melodies on the lyric so what it's basically significant for what it stands for can you um describe yourself in three words um charismatic humble and just a given person what is a personal goal of yours to achieve from your music? I mean, honestly, I just want to be able to, 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 to see see where I come from, you know, get that light, get that proper shine. I feel like, you know, a lot of times, you know, when we come from these small markets, we never get to just do. You know, we grind for so long and we never get it. And I feel like, you know, work. I'm going to keep working hard, you know, until I achieve that goal. Yeah. Is there anybody you want to give a shout out to? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I want to shout out, first of all, my team, Big Business Boys. I want to shout out, you know, the whole Charlotte, the whole West Virginia. I want to shout out everybody who support me, all the websites, the blog sites that have been supporting me, from Mr. Incognito. I want to shout out imcoco.com. I want to shout out, you know, everybody who, every blog spot. 
They've been representing me online, in the streets. DJ Chuck T even holding me down as well. You know, DJ Charlie Black, you know, DJ Woody Woods, Leisha Lee, I could go on. You know, Incognito, Butterfingers, everybody at Power 98. You know, everybody who's been down with me, I rock with you. Yeah, you said there's a lot of people out here who are, you know, striving to yeah. get their story out. How, or what makes you so different from everybody else? I think it's just my approach, you know. I, I'm not just like trying to, I don't do music just for the Joneses or just, you know, because everybody else is doing a certain type of music. I do it from the heart. And I feel like when you do, you know, music from the heart, everybody can kind of feel it. When you touch them certain, you know, them certain topics and those certain, you have certain views that you're strong about, you're supposed to let it out. And I think a lot of people, they kind of, you know, tear back from that. They just want to do just all street records or all certain type of records. I think music is about an artist, being an artist is about being free, you know. Why do you think it is that people are getting knocked down? Why do you think the elite are knocking the people down or always stopping it from progressing to where, like you said, I agree, there's plenty of talent here yeah, in Charlotte. Right. I, I just feel like everybody trying to want to be first, and that's not really what it's about. It's like everybody just want to be the first one, you know, but that's not what it's about. It's about me being able to get through and help the next man come through, and, you know, that next man help the next man come through. So now you can be like Atlantic where everybody's shining, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing to have multiple people out there grinding together, you know what I'm saying? If I hit him up, he coming over here, we working. You know, everybody's just working together, working together, working together, so the whole city can feel every, you know, genre and type of music, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it's about. One last thing, why should people pick up your album or your mixtape and listen to it? I think it's just because it's a new sound, you know? It's a different dynamic when you listen to how it's put together, like as far as the mixtape is concerned, it's like everybody just rapping over beats. I try to make, you know, other people's beats records, you know, actual songs that you can kind of grab on and feel, you know, so that's kind of the difference. And, you know, not too many people do conceptual mixtapes. When you go to Melody's on the lyrics, conceptual, you know what I'm saying? It has a storyline underneath it, you know, underneath storyline. So I feel like when people bite down into the music, don't just try to skip through it, you gotta kind of sit down and let that thing soak in, you know, you'll kind of see who Tiger Day is as a person, as an individual, representing, you know, what I represent. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I want to thank you for having me interview you. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. I want to thank you for taking the time out to interview me, you know. No um, problem. You know, hopefully we can do a lot of things in the future. We got big things coming. Yeah, definitely. All right. All right. What, what, what it do, world? It's me again. I'm lyrics, fuck the flyers in that Denny M. That's a rose. Designer clothes. Everybody knows. Metro Pony. Gone.